480 is a statement of intent in the built form. It says to the Brisbane marketplace, it says to the Australian development community, there's a standard that we should all be aspiring to. And 480 Queen Street very loudly and very clearly says, this is how it ought to be, come here. Well, I think 480 Queen Street is different because it really has been designed for this place. So it responds to St John's Cathedral, the setting, it responds to the view of the river and to the uh, Story Bridge here in Brisbane. And I think all these things come together to make it a unique building that's designed particularly for its place. But ultimately it's those conversations about how do you actually kind of break a building down and make it more human. That escalator obviously travelling through you know, amazing artwork by Danny Mallor is a real example of that, that it's, the, the journey to get up here is quite incredible. Probably the longest um, escalator I've ever been on in my life, from, from Adelaide Street up to level four, you know, 30 metres long or whatever it is, and 12 metre rise, so it's quite spectacular. It's been an impeccable piece of work and really influential in the building. Far and away my favourite thing about 480, and it's one of those buildings that's got lots of things in it. Um, it's probably one of the, the key differentiators of 480 is it's not just about one aspect or one attribute. So there's facilities here that you and I can enjoy, but there's facilities also that the tenants enjoy. The fundamental thing from Growcon's perspective was that, that to do a premium grade building in the 21st century, it needs to be a 21st century workplace environment. One of the largest floor plates in, in Brisbane, so the tenants' space that they pay rent on, they get absolutely maximised efficiency on in terms of how they utilise it. Like right on the cusp of the Golden Triangle there in Queen Street, it really is a prominent building. It's the first steel building in Brisbane for 30 years. It was good and it was quite challenging, but we did it. A lot of coordination between us and the architects and structure. The parallel beam system means it's a very deep structural zone, so it's sort of comparable to the domestic type of construction where you have a bearer and a joist and then a floor system on top. So it's taking that sort of analogy and bringing it to the commercial building. So our building actually tried to reimagine the ground plane, reimagine the park. So when you are up on the park on level four, it's as though you are standing on the original ground. The considerations for the Green Star came down to the amount of planting that we're trying to achieve throughout the floor plate. We achieved additionals by having the raking gardens, the vertical gardens, so that all enhanced the, the Green Star credential. It sets a standard in terms of sustainability, but critically for us, it sets a standard where we're communicating with our stakeholders, with our tenants, with our future tenants. This is the nature of the quality and environment we aim to achieve in our project. What I'm most proud about in the building is that it's good for everybody, this building. I think it's got so many parts which clearly attracted the tenants in the first instance. But now as it unfolds and as more of the sort of broader community of Brisbane begin to understand the building, I think it'll become very much a public place as well as a private place.